talk a lot. Right. We'll move on to the 2010. Um, do you feel like Do you feel like stylistically over the years that that any any obviously you said there's a shift in 2005 was the first vintage with 100% Sangiovese, but do you feel like there's any other stylistic shift that happened in the vineyard that happened in the uh, that happened in in the winery or or has it been the sort of a consistent outlook towards? Yeah, I mean when we started to produce wine, actually. Okay. Um, we didn't know anything about it. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, it's like, uh, no, we were fascinated and really started uh, a couple of years before to start, but we were new to this mm -hmm. thing. Oh, we have a question. Uh, the question is, uh, you say you're, you were new at it. Does that mean you had had no sort of formal education in it? It was just, you just decided to make wine and, and yeah, start from there. Totally, absolutely. Like. Uh, I've done when I was 11 that we started a project and remained, right. you know, caught it there. Bibi was the same. I mean, the, he. The gardener was making the wine. The right? gardener was making the wine. <laughs> he was completely fascinated by the native, but he never studied, never. There has to be, I mean, there has to be a breaking point where you look at the, you look at, okay, you're 99, which was also a great vintage, right? <laughs> and then all of a sudden you're producing the wine commercially. Are you starting to use, are you starting to invest in winemaking equipment or barrels, or is it just sort of a continuation of what you were doing, but with a little more? Eye towards getting it out of the market. The main difference is not uh, in the winery because since the beginning we are extremely simple and we are still. I mean, if when you, all the people hopefully will come to our place, they will see. I mean, we have barrels. That's it. And mm -hmm. wine. The main difference is that uh, as we didn't know a lot, uh, we started to produce wine uh, with um, an external enologist mm -hmm. who used to help us. Okay. And of course, that uh, working with another person. You know, I mean, I'm not saying that is not your wine, but uh, you, 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 you have some certain information, mm -hmm. and of course, Bibi since the beginning knew that was not a long-term relationship because he had already in his mind what he wanted to do. Right. right. So there is a big uh, change, not big, but uh, step by step, year per year. But uh, I can say that since 2005, uh, something is changing. Okay. Yeah. To start, because start, because starting to own. Yeah, yeah, because since 2005, we, at that probably 2006 was the first year that we were completely by ourselves. But at the end, since 2005, uh, because 2006 we stopped to work with this um, um, team. Yeah. And uh, now BB is there. And ironically, ironically, you know, that I really feel like the 2006 is sort of that, <laughs> that that's when yeah. it took off. So we have a question. So, so in that process, you know, starting from knowing nothing, and kind of no education, uh, do you feel like there was ever sort of like an aha moment where you guys said, wow, we've made something that actually could work? And it's like, and, and like, like for example, like a lot of musicians um, will start off and, and they'll be writing songs and they'll have a song that they write that they say, you know what, that's a song that actually could be a good song. And that's a great question because I'm connecting for what I'm saying now. Uh, yes, this was. Uh, it was the vintage. It was the vintage 2005. I was still in the barrels, and uh, we were with this external knowledge, and we have those masses there, not the, those barrels. And uh, Bibi wanted to do in his way, uh, blending those barrels, but. Uh, the, mm, the 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 team of neurologists do not want to want to do it in a different way, so they tested the wine after a couple of days after the blend, and because we have we do as we are picking from many different vines, we we do all uh, separate fermentation and then mm -hmm. vinification all in the barrels, so at the end before tomorrow we do the blend, and. Um, he turned the glasses without telling to the analogist. <laughs> and uh, the analogist didn't know what he was drinking, and he picked the wine that DB wanted. <laughs> so at that and then, point. And then you guys sent him on his way? Yeah, I'm not in that the way. Band broke so, up. Let's, say, let's say that in that moment, we, are, we realized uh, that. Yeah, that what that's when you kind of realize you can do it better than the pros. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was the, the hot. Did. Yeah. The, right. no, it's, it's not better because at the end. Uh, it's not to say better. I mean, he was uh, he gave us a lot, and uh, still respect a lot what 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 we have done with with those team. But uh, 
um, it's uh, to have uh, your philosophy. You know, sometimes you raise your kid, probably uh, someone is raised better than you, but uh, at least uh, I mean, you, you wanted to yeah. raise it in, this, in that way. Yeah. You know? And in that moment was a really hot uh, moment for us, yes. That's great, that's great.